Fast. Yeah, it's too damn fast. He's got no cool, no idea of strategy. He's so bloody fast, he doesn't need strategy. Oh. His championship material. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you could win the National Age Group Finals. Too much natural exuberance. He can't control his emotions, Lovejoy. He's got a lot of grey ups to do. Championship. What do you say? London. Well, I'll have to ask my dad. said no. Believe me, Nicholas, you haven't the first idea about London. It's not called the modern Babylon for nothing. Dad, it's only a fencing competition. You're not old enough. That when you're 18 and no longer my responsibility, then of, of course it's up to you. But until then, how could I look a policeman in the eye and tell him I'd let my young son loose in London on his own? But, Henry, the competition is sponsored by the YMCA. That's a good Christian organisation. Yes, I know that, Mother. But what makes Nicholas think he's good enough to be in a national competition? Well, Mr Lovejoy said... Lovejoy! Lovejoy! Even the name! Why not? Just because you were never good at anything. I see. Well, if that's all fencing teaches you, then I think we can call a halt right now. Pride, Nicholas! Pride leads you on the path to destruction! You're quite right, of course. It's time he learned humility. Too much winning, I suppose. What he needs is to lose something. Something important to him. Like a national competition. The 9.30 service to London will depart from Platform 6. I told Platform him half past nine, nine, we'll have to go without him. The 9.30 service to London. Remember, Nicholas, it's a modern Babylon. Now, be alert. Everything's there to tempt you. Here. Nicholas. Pay your way, Nicholas. Neither a borrower nor a lender be, and whatever you do, don't gamble. Dad, when am I going to Satan whispers on the shoulder of the gambler. Isn't that right, Mr. Rudge? We'll take good care of it, Mr. Lilly. Don't worry, I'll make it my personal responsibility. Ah, <laughs> at last. 
Now, look, listen. Now, pay attention. Last but not least. A cup of coffee at 9.30 in the morning. I hardly thought it was unreasonable. I'm sorry. Did I spill it? I'm sorry. Listen, Nicholas. Now, pay attention. Nicholas, please. This is important. Have nothing whatever to do with women. Nothing. You, you understand what I mean. Promise me. I promise. Thanks, Bye, Dad. Sir. Bye, Mum. Good luck, Nicky. <laughs> Don't forget to phone. Bye, Mum. Bye. Down to the last eight. How do you feel? Well, not as good as I thought. Eh? Oh, I told you so. Yes, but they're still in. Yes. I've been watching him. Baron Hyphen Irvin. He's cunning. The uh, finalists to compete by direct elimination are as follows Beast One, Barlow, Manchester Grammar, and Patel, Ealing Fencing Club. Beast Four, Ling Ho Lim, Harrow, and McNabb, Billericay College. Hell's bells, where's Baron Irving? Piece three, Lily, Norwich Fencing Club. He's got um, Baron Irving. Baron Irving, Halebrook. Piece two. Right, now let us hold back, Holy hold Ed back. Remember, he who attacks makes himself Worthy. vulnerable, right? <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Well, I hope you're feeling rich, Lovejoy. Double or quits? So fast he didn't need strategy. Wait for it, wait for it. He's in for a change. On guard. Ready? Playing for time. Keep cool, Nicholas. Don't let him ruffle you. What's he doing? He's definitely out of order. The president should intervene. Get on with it. Sorry. All right. Are you ready? Thank you. Right. Well, this is it. Just one more hit, Nicholas. Just one more. the high spots then? The 7.50 only stops at Ipswich. Otherwise, it's the 9 o'clock, all stations from Colchester. Mm. Early night for me. But you're buying the drinks. Oh, you'll be lucky. Come on, you old bucket of fertiliser. This is Nicholas's night. He should have been champ, but for a cheap trick, we're going to celebrate. This boy is the best fencer we've ever had in our club, eh? Show him a bit of nightlife. 
It's not all God and your sword arm, me old mate. I'm not really in the mood, Mr. Lovejoy. I think I'll just phone my parents and go back to the hotel. You sure? Sure. Does it? Night. Good night. night. Come on, Rog. You're not going to let me down, man of the world. You owe me one, and you better make it a double. Well, if you insist, but not here. I happen to know a place that serves 50 different single malts. The more, the merrier. Nicholas Lilly. Hello. James Baron Irvin. Congratulations, you gave me the closest fight in the tournament. No, really, a great game. Thanks, I thought I was done for. Anyway, no hard feelings. All's fair in love and war, eh? You know, you really ought to be celebrating. I know a super sporting club if you'd like to come out. Sports club? Will it be open this late? <laughs> that's very good, that's very good. Sit down. Nice to see you again, Mr. Baron Irving. And how's your uncle keeping? Gone to Monte for the tennis. Just to remind you of our rules, sir, I trust that your guest is over 18. Arthur, you disappoint me. Come on. Don't draw attention to yourself. But where's the gym? A sporting club, not a sports club. Who's the high rower? Five thousand pounds a hand. Five thousand pounds. <laughs> Twenty grand in half an hour. How much? Twenty grand. Twenty thousand pounds? <laughs> That's immoral. That's awful. You, you could buy, buy an house in Norwich for that. Oh, really? Thank you, sir. I think I ought to go, James. It's been very nice. Thank you. Oh, Bob. come on, man. This is a celebration. Look, if money's the problem, I'll lend you some. Oh, no. No, it's OK. Um, well, maybe I'll just watch for a bit. Lord Nick, don't be a bore. You must have a go. It's fun. Good for the adrenaline. Get your nerves in training. Evening. Good evening, sir. Could I have a couple of those, um, totals, please? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but five is the minimum stake. Thank you, sir. Enjoy yourself, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Black, ten pounds. Yeah. My age. You're 18, remember? Seventeen black. Seventeen? James, I've won! Nick, stay cool.
Hello? You know, I knew you'd be a winner. I can tell. You've got the vibe. No more now, please. No more bits. Yeah. Seventeen black again. Amazing. I don't believe it. That's incredible. What's your start now? What? You've won you again. Know. What? No, I can't have. I didn't put anything on. Uh, your original steak, they leave it on unless you tell them not to. Oh. <laughs> I told you I could feel your vibes. They're really strong. Is this your first time? Yeah. Oh, nothing like beginner's luck, you know, it's the best sort. Sometimes it even rubs off onto the chips. Do you mind if I try? I'll give you them back in a minute. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Cool it, Nick. Don't make a scene. You could get me banned. It's your fault anyway. You were asking for it. She could see you coming a mile off. But she's just like 50 quid. Borrowed, James. man. Borrowed. All right. Look, stop whinging. You've been had. Forget it. You're still 650 quid up. 650 pounds? Good. That's your bets. Fancy another go? Right. I reckon the devil's on your side tonight, Nick. I thought you were going to lose everything. 760 pounds, sir. 760 pounds? I'll get Campagnolo gears for the bike. Or a car, even. Please, Nick, just put it away. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night. There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. I was so worried. I thought you'd gone. Heaven knows what you must think of me. I'm so embarrassed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I knew you had lucky vibes. People are trying to sleep, you know. Pina coladas. I never want to hear the words pina colada as long as I breathe. Skinted me, they did. Skinted me. You skinted yourself. You were a sitting duck. Thank you. Women. You give them the earth, Rudge. And what do they do? They talk amongst themselves. Oh. I should have known you're a liability, Lovejoy. You always have been. Oh, thank God the boy didn't come with us.
us. It's only me. I didn't like to wake you. Kiss? Goodbye, super lover. Bye. Sorry, how much? Four pound fifty. Thank you. you. No, that's all right. Thanks. To me. Have you got any change? Fives, tens? Uh, yeah. Mr. Lovejoy, can I ask you something? <sighs> Mr. Lovejoy, if if someone steals something from you. If someone steals something from you. And then you steal it back. Except that at the same time, by accident, you take something else as well. Does what you've done count as stealing? If someone steals something from you, you steal it back and take something else. Accidentally. Accidentally. What's the question again? Does what you've done count as stealing? This is soup. All right, what happened, Nicholas? Well, last night I tried. Joined... I came fifth. Wonderful. Praise God. Hello, Dad. Well? He didn't win. Ah. So you weren't quite good enough, then. Never mind, Nicholas. The experience will stand you in good stead. It'll teach you a little about humility. Pride, Nicholas. Pride leads you along the path to destruction. Yeah, yeah. I know, Dad. Nicholas! How dare you! Stay cool, Dad. <laughs> 